it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play I'm a Believer by the Monkees. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app right now, and when it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Just in case you haven't heard the song for a while, I'm going to play you through a quick verse and chorus first to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. One, two, three, four. I thought love was only true in fairy tales, meant for someone else but not for me. Love was out to get me, that's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I could believe her if I tried. These are the chords that you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. To play the chord of D, put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And the chord of D should sound like this. To play the chord of G7, just turn that G shape upside down. Put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, then put your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of G7 should sound like this. To play the chord of C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and the chord of C should sound like this. To play the chord of D7, bar the second fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. Then add your second finger to the third fret of the first string. And the chord of D7 should sound like this. And to play the chord of F, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of F should sound like this. Now before we start with the verse, I'm going to very quickly teach you how to play the intro, which you also repeat at the end of each chorus. It's the little riff that goes like this. It sounds pretty cool, but it's very straightforward to play. To play that intro riff, firstly you need to keep your first finger on the first fret of the second string. We're not going to play it right away, but leave it there because you'll need it in a second. We start off that riff by playing the open third string, and then quickly hammering on to the second fret, like this. What that means is, with your right finger, you just play the string once, but before the note dies out, you hammer on with your left hand to get a second note on the second fret, like this. So with your right hand you play the string once, but with your left hand you get two notes for the price of one, the open string and the second fret, like this. Then while that's still ringing out, you play your second string, and the first finger is already in place on the first fret, like this. So basically, that intro riff is just repeating those three notes over and over again, like this. One, two, three, four. So let's play that intro through slowly together, and then we'll move on to the verse. And let's play it a bit faster. And now let's move on to the verse. For the verse, we play a nice and simple down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern all the way through, like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. The first line is G to D to G. You play it once on the G and D, and then twice on the G, like this. One. play it through again, almost exactly the same, but this time G, D, G, and G7. Just playing it once on each chord, like this. One, 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 one. Then you play C to G three times, like this. C, G, C, then you play it once on the D7 before going into the chorus. D7. So let's put that all together and we've got our verse. We'll play it through together now, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. 
And that takes us into the chorus. The good news is the chords are still nice and easy, but the bad news is the strumming pattern changes. Basically, to play the chorus, you play G, G, C, C, G, four times through, like this. Down, 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 down. I'm going to sing it through to you nice and slow so you get the hang of how it fits. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace. Of doubt in my mind. I'm in. And then for the last line, you go back to that down, down, up, up, down, up string pattern. Playing it once on G, C, G, and F, like this. Love. And then for that last word, tried, you repeat the intro. Tried. And then you go back into verse 2, which is exactly the same as verse 1. And basically you just carry on playing verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, intro, all the way through, and you've got the entire song. Put it all together, and that's how to play I'm a Believer by The Monkees. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best.